but my goal in dealing with the issue of peace and prosperity is that we need to preempt that. We don't need the wars to go on. Right now, it's 46 years that uh, we've been in Korea. Now they're talking about escalating again in Korea. And uh, of course, we finally walked away from Vietnam, which was finally good. But uh, after so much pain and suffering, I keep thinking, an illegal war, all that killing, then we walk away, and guess what? It, the reason we were there was to stop the domino effect and the spread of communism. Well, communism was a bad idea, and it killed itself. You know, we didn't have... <laughs> but, we, didn't have to, we didn't have to fight a war to beat, uh, to beat communism. But just think of the difference. All that fighting and killing in the 50s and the 60s, and all the death and destruction, and then we surrender, we walk out, we lose. And uh, a lot of us were hopeful that maybe that would end that type of foreign policy. Unfortunately, it didn't. It, it was revived again. But look at the, re the relationship we have with, South, uh, with Vietnam now. Far from perfect. They still have socialists and communists floating around, but their governments are completely different. It isn't uh, vicious communism because both the vicious communism of China and, and uh, the Soviets really doesn't exist. But much more was gained with a peaceful relationship with the Vietnamese. We trade with them, we talk with them, we travel with them. Then all those years of fighting and killing, there is no sense to the policies that we have today, it will take a generation of Americans supported by many generations of Americans say, enough is enough, it's time we obey the Constitution and never go to right. war unless it's declared.